my beautiful Virgo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone and those of you that are brand new to my channel. Hello and welcome my friends. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now Virgo this is your mid-April reading everyone and what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to open your reading with an oracle card from the Guardian Angel Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by a bonus card from the spirit animals oracle deck and then an angel number as well so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right virgo let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that spirit would like you to hear today all right, so we are getting for you. It's time, Virgo. Look at this. It is time for you. So let me read you the message of this card. You are here to make a difference in the world, and it's through your actions that you can shape and influence time, Virgo. Be brave, be resolute, and step forward with confidence. So let me read that to you one more time. You are here to make a difference in the world. And there, this, and it's through your actions that you can shape and influence time. Some of you can influence time here. Virgo, be brave, be resolute, and step forward with confidence. So look at this. You're being given power here. You're being given a nudge here from the universe of Virgo. All right, it's time for you to do what it is that you've been wanting to do. All right, so let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through for you. All right, so Virgo, we are getting the four of pentacles. This is power. This is stability. This is that strong foundation. And this is what spirit guides are wanting you to create in your life is to lay that solid foundation. I don't know if any of you are seeing a beaver anywhere in your life. I'm getting the image of a beaver right now. You know how a beaver uh, kind of puts his little home together. It's a very stable foundation. This is what spirit guides are wanting you to do at this time as well. So the four of pentacles here for you. If you've been seeing the number fours, this is also a confirmation for you. Look at that. There is your stable foundation. So you're putting down the roots and you're going to receive it. So the energy that you're putting out there, Virgo, you're going to see it coming back to you. This is a place of abundance and prosperity, of, of love, of positivity. There's a lot of growth here. There's family, right? There's that beautiful connected place. This is it for you, Virgo. Now, what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So 10 of pentacles here for you. And the page of pentacles. Wow. So lots of pentacles here for you, Virgo. I do feel that some of you are looking at your material reality, your physical reality. And what's happening here is there's some sort of an energy coming in that you're meant to learn and experience something through. Now, this may come in as news or a message for some of you. Someone might deliver or come into your life with something. Okay, so get ready for this to enter your life, Virgo. So page of pentacles. All right, so before I begin here, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading. So those of you that are watching today, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. Wow, okay, so... I feel that there's an opportunity at hand here for you to really plant some seeds, Virgo. Um, you have cleared some things off of your plate here. I see some of you have cleared some clutter. You have done some of that work. Ducks are in a row here as well. This is what I'm getting here. I don't know if any of you are seeing ducks. You're around ducks, but I'm seeing ducks around a lake. So you'll have to share that with me. Um, understanding, like there's some clarity that has set in for some of you and... 
I feel you know what it is that you need to do in your life and it's now time for you to actually take action, instigate creating this happy place for yourself, this place of abundance and prosperity. This is your dream. This is your dream life coming into reality here. You are the creator. What does this look like for you? So first Virgo, you want to have a clear vision of this. You want to have actually imagine it with clarity here. Okay. And walk around in this landscape of your dream. Okay. Smell the air, feel everything that's there. And who are you in this place as well, Virgo? This is what you want to bring in. This is the energy you want to draw in and pull towards you here because this is you, the builder, the architect now creating it. You're the one that's putting the foundations together, the recipe, right? This is almost like the magician card. This is the energy I'm picking up with the four of pentacles for you today, but this is you gathering, okay? This is you gathering the things that you require in order to build this reality. So what is it that you need right now that you feel that you need? If you don't know, ask spirit to bring in guidance, but it's going to start first by having clear vision about what this place is and there's a lot that you're about to learn this is an opportunity and perhaps some of you had news or message through a dream through signs confirmations omens coming into your life letting you know remember the solar eclipse was an omen okay it's letting us know that we're now letting that old outdated beliefs things that no longer serve our higher purpose are meant to actually leave our life and these new beginnings, this new energy is coming in. You're going to see changes in your life here, Virgo. I feel the world is also changing. So it's now time for you to understand, okay, what is it that I really want to create in my life? What do I want in my material world? Like, for example, my husband and I are wanting to build a home, right? This is also an energy of building a home. Perhaps you're wanting to build a home or have a home. All right, now it's time to figure out how we're going to accomplish that. This is what you're going to do here with this four of pentacles is, all right, let's get to work. Let's figure this out. How are we going to make this work? We need a plan. We need to strategize. Okay, so once that planning is underway, this is when spirit guides start to come in and bring you signs and synchronicities and help you through this process. Now, the other... Uh, energy I have is some of you already have everything that you desire. You have your home, you have everything, but you've over accumulated things. And maybe you're thinking about downsizing or perhaps there's like almost happiness missing. Like this dream part is missing in the overall picture. And, um, I don't know what this is for you. Um, Virgo, but what I'm getting here is now I'm getting Cancer and Leo. I feel like the readings that I have filmed, these signs are wanting to pop into your sign, Virgo, and I feel there's a reason for this. Maybe there is a Cancer or a Leo somewhere in your life. Maybe this is somewhere in your birth chart, but I'm picking up on Cancer and Leo right now. Very, very strongly, just rolling in. So um, I don't know what this is for you. You'll have to share with me here, Virgo. So this four of pentacles also has to do with accumulation of things. Perhaps you have a lot of things in your home that you have accumulated, but they don't really mean anything and you're meant to clear out the clutter in your home. So perhaps those of you especially that are focusing in on your finances and you're wanting to grow and accumulate wealth, maybe let's start with getting rid of the things that are taking up space or collecting dust in our lives. Um, this could be also things that we have picked up along the way through our life's journey, like uh, beliefs, um, systems, things that we have learned from others that we thought were of value are no longer in alignment with you. So I feel that spirit guides are asking you to kind of release these energies and lay some new roots in the ground because you're going to see a lot of growth through this card's energy. Very powerful card. Um, I'm getting like a really successful business. Okay, so those of you that are in business, especially if you have like an online business, I feel if you do the work, like they're wanting you to really pay attention to details, but lay those solid foundations, uh, structure for your, for your business, because this is where you're going to see the most growth. Okay. And this is how you're going to get to this place quicker. So for example, I have a calendar, uh, for my own business. My roots are, I have calendars. I have a system in place because I know exactly what I need to do every day, how many readings I have to film, how many need to be edited, my workload. I've got it all figured out here, right? So 
They want you to have some sort of schedule or structure. That's going to be your stability. These are going to be your roots in the ground in order to create this place of the Ten of Pentacles. And you're going to see, like, this is a very wealthy... Um, wealth is coming through these two cards. So I'm seeing wealth and prosperity for some of you and money doesn't buy happiness. Okay. So those of you that need, needed to hear that money doesn't buy happiness. Money isn't everything. Money follows love. Money follows happiness. Okay. You don't have to, when you're resonating in that energy of love and happiness of positivity, but love, kindness, and compassion, everything else follows. And I feel this is a following energy for some of you. So this following along and it doesn't feel like you're putting any kind of effort into things. You're just seeing some of this trickling in. And when you start to notice this, this is when you know that you're doing something right. Okay. So Virgo, you are creating your dream life and manifestations, any kind of wishes that you have made. I'm seeing some of you uh, wishing on an eyelash. Maybe you wished with a floral leaf clo clover. Maybe you have something that is tied to um, a wish that you have that you wear, like a pendant, earrings, ring, pair, like a clothing, like a lucky charm, maybe, a, you know, a horseshoe, like a golden horseshoe. Maybe, yeah, again, uh, I feel some of you are wearing a necklace or a pendant that means something for you. So you'll have to share that with me as well. Know that this energy is coming in. Now, also, spirit guides are wanting you to spend some time in nature, Virgo. Okay, so if you're able to get out, even outside, to get some fresh uh, air, if you're feeling like you have heavy energy around you at work, even at home to get outside, open your windows, open your uh, curtains, allow that light to shine through. Um, and they're wanting you to actually do this every morning if you're able to do that, Virgo, is get up every morning and open your curtains and allow that light to shine through. You need this light. It energizes you. And vitamin D is also coming up. So uh, those of you that are feeling lethargic and not feeling energized right now open your curtains if you've kept your curtains closed I feel I'm getting some like it's not that it's dark energy but it feels like your curtains and everything's been closed for a while so you need to kind of allow that energy to move out open maybe some windows if it's a nice day and let that fresh energy come out and let that old energy leave your home okay because there's something heavy and stagnant kind of sitting around and as you do this you're going to feel so much better as well Virgo, this is going to, I feel that when you release some of these energies, stagnant energies, like cleaning things, some of you might be doing some deep cleaning in your home. This could be that spring cleaning energy, but I feel that um, some of you are even rearranging or renovating a space in your home or your entire home or you're painting. I'm seeing you refreshing things here. So this could be anywhere in your life. I'm just seeing this beautiful new energy that is entering your life because of this. So you're creating your dreams. There's stability coming in. And I feel some of you feel stable in environments that are clean. I don't know how to explain this, but it's almost like you feel almost at home and you just feel more comfortable when their space is clean or it could be vice versa. Remember, we live in a world of polarity. So some of us be, might, might be going through the energy of what I am reading for you today, or perhaps you're going through the complete opposite of it or something in between, okay? So this could be you hoarding energies and maybe that's your safe space when you have these things. Maybe there's a lot of things in your life right now that have value. Maybe they're tied to your past, but I feel that collecting these keep these energies around you. It's, and it's not in a good way. So sometimes we have to take some things out and just clear space up. And that way it doesn't keep us tied to our past. Okay, so we got the Page of Pentacles. This, this Page of Pentacles card is ushering in this brand new experience for you life experience. And this is an opportunity for you to really grow. And I sometimes feel that this can come in as a challenge, but it's actually a blessing in disguise. And you're going to recognize the blessing after you're partway through whatever this is. And you're going to say, oh my gosh, you know what? I, I feel that I'm learning something through this. And even though I tried to resist it, I feel that I'm starting to move ahead. I'm starting to understand. And this is that journey forward. And this is you actually making the choice to move forward, being brave and courageous and uh, doing the thing that you're meant to do because it's now time for you to get into action and to start moving 
in the direction of your purpose. And your purpose here, Virgo, is going to come through this page of Pentacles energy for you. So there's something that you're learning through what you're going through right now. Okay, it's an opportunity. Remember that. Now, the other thing is I feel there's a message being delivered to you in some way, whether this is through a dream, someone actually delivering you a package or uh, writing you a note, texting you something, emailing you something, even conversing and bringing the message in. There's something powerful happening here with this message. And I feel perhaps you're going to be conversing with someone or even learning. Like I feel some of you are learning something. And through you learning, your, your, your awareness heightens and this connection is going to take place and you're going to understand things on a completely like I'm getting stars like lines just going through like you're being lit up here and you're going to it's like the beginner energy of wearing um, training wheels here with something where you're learning something new or you're going through a new experience in your life perhaps you haven't gone through yet and it might feel challenging in the moment but you know that the more you learn and grow from this you're going to master it and this is exactly where you need to be this is where you're meant to be so no matter where you are in life spirit guides are letting you know here Virgo that you're exactly where you need to be but it's time for you to activate everything so those of you that understand what I'm saying here, uh, I feel you know what it is that you need to do here. Um, there's an activation happening, by the way. So this is why the activation part is coming in, is I feel just everything that is happening in the month of April, there's this activating energy and some of us are being activated to spread that light in the world, that love in the world. Our world needs love. And this could be a part of that journey for some of you, Virgos out there. Um, this could be through your self-expression, through something that you're doing creatively, creatively um, speaking, singing, writing, just your presence through your energy, Virgo. So what is this? Some of you will have to share with me. Now, I'm getting that. Um, I'm seeing a chainsaw. I don't know why I'm seeing a chainsaw. Somebody turning on a saw. What is a saw for? I'm just hearing the sound of an electrical saw going off. Maybe you're cutting down wood or you're making something. And what is the saw sound? Or maybe wood, like I'm smelling wood now. Like cut, somebody cut wood or lumber, something to do with that. So maybe you're building a structure. Maybe you're building a home here, Virgo. Um, or you're someone that works with wood or trees or in the forest. So, and I feel that spirit guides are wanting you to connect with nature as well. I feel like I'm all over the place. So I, I apologize for that Virgo, but I feel that these are things that spirit guides want me to continue talking about, even if they're this way and that way. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm playing charades with spirit guides because I don't know if they're wanting me to connect some of the things that I'm thinking about. Perhaps you are building a cabin in the woods. This is why you're going to be spending a lot of time in nature, learning uh, how to live in that environment. So there's a lot of growth and things that you are learning from this um, that is really enhancing your life here, Virgo. So a lot of beautiful things coming in for you. You are building your own security and stability. So independence, fi uh, financial independence here. Okay, coming through for you. So this is your happy place. You're headed towards it, Virgo. So exciting times here for you. Now, remember, if you're feeling challenged, um, don't let, um, it's not that you don't let, don't react to some of the things that sometimes happen. Remember, we're still going through Mercury retrograde. So um, this could be a, sm uh, a like a smaller energy I'm getting here as well, where you're really focused on your goals here and there's something you knew you're learning to really level up and upgrade in your life here, Virgo. So I'm seeing a major upgrade in your life here with these cards today. So what I'm going to do for you today as well is pull a bonus card here from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck. So I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. It comes with an Oracle message and a protection message. I'm going to read them both to you. Those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. Um, anything that I have missed or spirit wants to share more with you is also going to come through this card. All right, so let's see what we get here for you today, Virgo. So Bobcat Spirit. I don't know if any of you have seen a bobcat anywhere in your life. Uh, this is your confirmation. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now. Okay, so uh, life is a mystery. Virgo, we got the number eight. 
power number here for you. So this is you using your power. This is you mastering uh, your life here or mastering something in your life in order to enhance. All right. So we are in the year number eight. So perhaps some of you are seeing the number eight somewhere in your life. All right. So uh, let's pull the interpretation here from the guidebook. Where's the guidebook? Here it is. All right. So number eight. All right, so the oracle message for you, Virgo, is the bobcat moves furtively and mysteriously. And when bobcat spirit appears to you, she brings a powerful reminder that not all things in life can be explained or understood through the power of the intellect. Trying to figure things out, find logical explanations, or predict what will happen based on reason and facts will not provide you with the certainty and comfort you seek. Bobcat asks you to trust in the great mystery and let the secrets of the universe reveal themselves to you through direct experience. Allow your vision to slip into soft focus and you will see between the lines and observe what has been hidden there all along. Bobcat Spirit helps you know intimately the pulse of the divine in the world. Trust in the wisdom and revelations that come to you, yet know that understanding may not come as you would like it to. So I feel this is going to show up in your life in the way that you're not expecting it to, this page of pentacles. Now, the other thing I'm getting here, sorry, is um, some sort of leveling up in your life through a, a promotion or incoming receiving energy here. So what you experience through your heart and intuition, which comes to you as the voice of your inner knowing, will guide you now as you accept that secrecy is woven into the fabric of existence. No matter what, the appearance of Bobcat spirit is a sign that you are being called to trust even when... What is revealed does not agree with your need for intellectual certainty. Virgo, the protection message here for you is Bobcat Spirit tells you this is not a time to reveal your deepest, most cherished dreams and desires to others, but rather a time to be quiet and gentle with yourself as truths begin to emerge in your awareness. Self-protection is called for, so be discerning, selective, and even secretive, revealing no more than is necessary. People have a way of imposing their options, on, opinions on you, so pay attention to whom you surround yourself with this at this time. Be watchful and check your own motives as well as those of others as you keep your secrets to yourself for now rather than expose them to those who may potentially misunderstand your intentions or may not be supportive. Let your logical mind take a rest as you start to perceive the energy of your environment. Bobcat Spirit wants you to be stealthy and wise and keep your own counsel. Let yourself be a mystery yet to be revealed. So look at that Bobcat Spirit here for you, Virgo. All right, so I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Those of you that are seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what it is that spirit wants you to hear today, Virgo. All right, we are getting positive outlook. So you're going to have a positive outlook in your life here. So the number here is 4949. I don't know if any of you are seeing the number 49 or fours and nines in your life. This is your confirmation today. Those of you looking for timing around this card, I'm getting four to nine days, four to nine weeks and four to nine months. So seek the good in situations at this time. They're wanting you to have a positive outlook uh, uh, in your life here, Virgo. Release any kind of negativity that you have or are holding on to. Keep the faith. Everything is working out for you. You're going to experience growth and expansion as well. So there's a lot of beautiful things that are going on here for you. And, you know, just having faith. Sometimes we have minor setbacks and that can throw us off. So remember to have that positive outlook and everything is going to work out for you. Virgo. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.